Okay, Neil Williams here, president of TurnkeyParlor.com, and right now we're about to make a powdered frozen yogurt mix. Um, and kind of show you how to do that in our OX500 Oxford machine. Um, right now we're going to make Nancy's low-fat vanilla, and then we're going to make a product called Cielo, like sky in Spanish, C-I-E-L-O, um, and we're going to make chocolate uh, in that powder. So we've got Cielo. Uh, frozen yogurt powder mix and we've got Nancy's frozen yogurt powder mix. Nancy's is the low-fat vanilla, Cielo is the non-fat chocolate. Okay, so basically you start with cold water, cold filtered, you know, drinking water. Um, two gallons, which you can see right here, eight quarts. Okay, the Cielo uh, we have is a smaller package. It's really made for one gallon. So we've got two packages for two gallons of water. And then uh, we've got one package for two gallons of the Nancy's. Nancy's is a, is a six pound package and these are each three pounds. Okay, so um, really pretty simple. Open up the package. Uh, you have your two gallons of cold uh, uh, drinking water. We're going to pour it right in. Okay. Watch out with the dust with the camera. Oops. All right, so you can you can whisk this, all right, into the water. Okay, you can whisk it. Okay, or you can go with a professional mixer. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and mix this for about three minutes and come right back to you. Okay, so we got the chocolate done, as you can see there. Okay, that's mixed. You just want to make sure that all the powder is, you know, uh, uh, dissolved into the liquid, into the water. So now we're going to do the Nancy's low-fat vanilla. And again, if you've got high energy or you don't have a professional mixer, you can go ahead and whisk this. It's just going to take you a little more energy, burn a few calories, uh, but you can do it this way. Uh, I think you know that this wearing professional mixer, um, if you need to know, we don't sell it directly, but we can get it for you, or we can tell you where to buy it. It's about 200 bucks, a little under 200. Okay, so we'll be right back after we mix this. Okay, so we pull both of the air tubes out, okay, so that the product can flow freely into the cylinder through the hopper. And what we're gonna, the goal is to fill the cylinder with eight to 900 milliliters, okay? 800 would be exactly half. I, I take 900 milliliters for the first fill. Uh, because a little bit is going to stay in the hopper and you want a little bit more than half just to make sure that the beater is not scraping too hard against the walls. So basically we start with 900 milliliters, we pour it in and we're going to run a cycle. And once the cycle is done, that means that the product is frozen. So we can put the tubes back in and fill up the hopper and just run it through its normal cycle. So that's basically what we're going to do. Okay, so it's probably a little bit hard to see but that basically says 900 milliliters, 900 ml. And we're gonna go ahead and pour that in here. Okay. And you'll hear it bubbling, which means that it's feeding into the cylinder. Okay. So that takes about 30 seconds for it all to feed into the cylinder. And again, the goal is to fill half the cylinder so that it's half product, half air. That's the perfect mix. Okay, so now we're pouring the vanilla in. Again, 900 milliliters, mLs. You're gonna need a measuring cup. And a lot of people who train don't take the time to tell people um, to take this extra step to do this the right way, and they end up with product that is not as good. You go into a lot of yogurt shops, 
and they don't have the right air mix and it's something that you got to constantly monitor uh, maybe once or twice a day and I'll also talk later about how um, you can monitor it through the day and what to do if you start getting product that's too dense or dark or icy how to get some air pumped into it okay so we're gonna go ahead and pour the vanilla okay again you're gonna hear it bubble that means it's feeding through the hole into the cylinder we go back to look at the chocolate the chocolate has already fed all into the cylinder and the reason I do 900 of, instead of just 800 is because there's a little product left in there okay so we're gonna let it feed into the cylinder and again um, it's important that you do this this way so that uh, you have enough air mix in in the in the product and that's gonna give you a, a better fluffier product yogurt as it is is already kind of a denser wetter product and regular ice cream that you'll get from McDonald's or wherever so it's it, it melts a little bit faster um, so getting the right amount of air into it is important um, anyway we're going to come back uh, now now actually we're going to go ahead and start the machine now because we've got um, the vanilla we've got uh, half the cylinder fill of vanilla half the cylinder fill with chocolate and we're going to go ahead and cycle it okay we still have the tubes out we're just going to go ahead and cycle by hitting auto actually I um, vanilla and chocolate uh, is usually pretty around a five um, is a good temperature uh, this is the hardness level on the machine so set it around a five we're going to go ahead with five and hit that right now is just telling us we have a low mix which is obvious because we're controlling the amount of mix going in and there's nothing in the hoppers so we're going to hit auto and that's going to go ahead and start freezing the product when it goes through the uh you hear the compressor kick in the fan kicks in uh, now the the, uh, the beater is working against the cylinder walls, freezing the product. Once the product is frozen, uh, we'll go ahead and pour, put, the, put these guys back in, uh, and we'll go ahead and pour the product into the hopper, and then it'll go throughout the day like that. And then you're basically pretty much ready to go and start serving product. Okay, so the machine has gone through its cycle. It's frozen uh, the 900 milliliters that we put in. Uh, to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and draw. This this side is the Nancy's vanilla, the low-fat vanilla, and this side is the Cielo uh, non-fat chocolate. Um, as you see, the machine got quiet. It says 115. The green light is off, which means it's completed its cycle. Um, that blue light is still flashing because we still haven't filled the hoppers uh, with enough product and it'll show a low, low level indicator. That's what that means. Um, so we'll go ahead and draw some vanilla. As soon as we hit the handle, it draws, okay? All right, so the product, as you can see, we got a little hole in the star cap, which isn't a big deal. We just gotta put a new star cap on there. Um, but you see the product is in perfect condition, fluffy, cold, good. Um, and you know you are going to get you know a little bit of softness because it's frozen yogurt once it melts a little bit but this product is in perfect condition okay and it's really great texture for uh, for a powder product okay all right good stuff Nancy's low fat vanilla all right and you can see that the texture is excellent so Again, if it would have come out a little too soft, we could have run another cycle. Um, just hit manual, um, and it'll go ahead and run another cycle. Auto is supposed to take care of running it as long as it thinks it needs it. But if you think that it needs a little more, you could raise the uh, hardness level, maybe go to a six. If you think it needs a little more, hit uh, manual, and it'll kick in another cycle. Um, we'll go ahead and draw some chocolate. Each time you draw a product, okay, it's, the machine's going to kick in because the cylinder's being emptied and it's feeding new liquid into it, so it's going to crank to freeze the new liquid, okay? Uh, but as you can see, that chocolate, also excellent condition. Really good stuff. 
you can see through the cup really good condition okay so now we can go ahead and uh, put the air tubes back in okay you can go ahead and put the air tube make sure that the little hole is at the bottom that's where the product feeds through okay put this air tube in if the machine is ever squealing really loud it means that you put the tube in upside down by mistake um, and so products not feeding into the cylinder and the things running and, and there's no product in there and it's going like please stop so you you can hit the stop button and get some product in there uh, but to protect the machine you hit stop if it's if it squeaks it'll eventually shut itself down to protect itself and it'll take like 10 minutes to restart so you think the machine's broken but it just goes into a reset mode uh, so just make sure that when you want the product to feed in that you make sure that the holes are at the bottom so we're going to go ahead and pour product into the cylinder and you want to you want to whisk the product like every every hour because it's yogurt it tends to separate pretty easily Okay, you don't want to go further than the tube. Okay, so you want to go about to there. You can refrigerate the rest. and your employees hitting the yogurt because it tends to separate it's got live active cultures in it uh, just come back here and give it a whisk you know once an hour um, always be testing the product for quality and um, again right now it's cycling through because we drew some product it's gonna it's gonna go into the cycle it's gonna crank it it's gonna freeze it um, but yeah making product is pretty easy as long as you maintain the ratio of air to, to uh, product in the cylinder at the right uh, ratio, which is about 50-50.